hey everyone this video is brought to you by ea creator network i'm not being paid they simply sent me the pack a little bit early okay does she look diseased yes is this not going the way i thought it would in my head also yes but like i think it's gonna be okay today i'm going to be recreating the sims 4 townies as horses keep in mind this is early access so i only have access to the base game and horse ranch but if you enjoy these makeovers enough i will do some more with the other packs i'm thinking maybe a vladdy daddy horse so be sure to let me know in the comments Comments. Let's go ahead and hop in. Let's start off with an iconic townie. You all know her, you all love her. It's Bella Goth. Now, I have to really get creative here to imagine Bella Goth as a horse. I'm trying to go through the breeds here and see what I think matches her the most, but I feel like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of customizing no matter what. I almost feel like this Frisian matches her because she is from the Goth household, but she definitely needs some red accents. Her hair is a little bit straighter, so I'm gonna give her a straight mane right here. And when it comes to the forelock, I think the one she has is pretty good. The tail I'm gonna make straight as well. And then I think I'm gonna have the feathers be like this dark red color. Now, when it comes to what I need the horse to wear, I definitely think I wanna do like a rose and a dark flower crown here. We're gonna go with a bright red blanket and I like the black saddle. So I think I'm gonna keep that. But then the bridle, I'm gonna change to a bright red color. Now I'm gonna go into paint mode and give her a couple of her iconic definable features. I'm thinking first and foremost, she needs her beautiful, lipstick. It's kind of awkward trying to paint a horse lipstick because I can't really get under the chin very easily now, can I? But I feel like that's a pretty good job. I'm also going to take this time to add a couple of red details on her. I feel like she's so luxurious, but also trendy. I want to add some red around her hooves. It kind of looks like blood. Should we be worried about Bella? I kind of want to add some flowers on her as well, just because I feel like roses make me think of Bella. I'm going to give her a little flower mark here. Oh my god, wait. Wait, there's like actually lips. Hold on a second. Let me erase the lips that I drew on earlier. Again, this is like really hard to do because I can't see under the chin. Come on. Okay, but we like actually have these lips right here. Bright red horse lips. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. And a beautiful heart right on her forehead because she loves Mortimer. I wish I could give her like a multicolored mane as well. Yeah, when I think of Bella Goth, I think of love and the love she has for her family. So I think a couple of extra hearts there is really fun. I don't know how I'm feeling about the red on her her legs now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe it's like the color of her feathers that's throwing me off. Again, it's not that deep. I'm just, you know, having fun. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, this is Bella Goth if she was a horse. Okay, up next, I want to do Bob and Eliza Pancakes. So I'm going to start with Bob. Honestly, not a bad horse to start off with. I feel like this Lusitano looks a lot like Bob, at least the color scheme we have going on. Now, Bob has really short hair, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is mean, but like, what if his horse had no hair? Is that mean? I don't know. Like he has some hair. It's just really short. Maybe we have no forelock and maybe we just have like, I don't know. I feel so bad. Maybe I, I know what I'll do. I'll draw some hair on. It's gonna be so <laughs> ugly. Oh my God, I can't stop laughing. I'm sorry, Bob deserves better. I feel like Bob would wear a little cowboy hat. So I'm gonna give him a little cowboy hat in his favorite color green. His saddle is also gonna be green. And then I'm gonna give him a blanket that reminds me of food. I don't know, that blanket's the color of pancakes. So I guess that works. Then I'll make his bridle green as well. Or maybe I'll make it the color of pancakes. Yeah, I think I like that. And I also feel like Bob Bob would wear like some fun socks. I think that kind of matches his vibes. Okay, paint mode for Bob. Here we go. I'm so sorry in advance. I'm gonna try to give him the illusion of some hair. Cause he's got hair. It's just close. It's like shaved to his head. Okay, that's not bad. And what if I tried to draw on a beard as well? How bad would that look? I guess we'll find out together, won't we? Okay, uh-huh. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna need you to roll over for me, Bob. Thank you. Gotta get this underside for your beard. Okay, looking good. That looks like Bob's beard. Oh my gosh, you know what I didn't do on Bella's? I never clicked on this button. I can change the head shape and everything. Definitely a little bit rounder. Bob has like a round head. I want the ears to be tiny, tiny little ears. He would definitely have like a little speckled muzzle. I think that's adorable. Okay, he has brown eyes, so that's fine. They're pretty big, so I'll make them bigger. And Bob's not a unicorn. I'm not, he's not a unicorn, so. I'm going back to my Bella horse really quick to fix these options. Bella is beautiful. But there, we can see the lips better. Bella also has brown eyes. So that's fine. And she would definitely have a black muzzle. Okay, back to Bob, back to Bob. You're looking really good, Bob. Okay, Bob's wearing like a t-shirt that has some trees on it. So I'm wondering if I try to paint like trees on Bob, how that would look. Well, it's actually, it's more like a mountain. 
mountain, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna try to do my best here to recreate Bob's shirt. Yeah, that looks pretty, that looks like the mountains on his shirt. It's got these like green stripes that go across it too. Oh wait, is that the trans pride flag? I can't really tell. I feel like that image is distorting it for me. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with what I see. I'll have to like look at it in game sometime and be like, huh, yeah, that's some pink. So I'll do some pink. Bob said trans rights as he should. Okay, yeah, that looks exactly like his shirt. I love it. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cursed, you guys. Okay, going back to Bob's tail, I think I'm gonna give him like a curly tail. We're gonna make it black. And then he's gonna have no feathers, just naked. I'm gonna give him like a thicker coat as well. I feel like he'd be fuzzy. And then I really just wanna draw like a pancake on him, but I don't really know how to draw a pancake on a horse and make it look realistic. So I think I'll just have like a circle and then put some like butter on it. Yeah, yeah. Bob pancakes, everyone. What do we think? I think that looks like Bob pancakes. Okay. Up next, Eliza. All right, let's name Bella. Bella Goth. I feel like Bella would be independent, intelligent, and friendly. All right, we got Bob and Cakes. Bob would be friendly. I feel like he's pretty mellow as well. He's pretty chill. And I feel like he's really needy because Eliza doesn't give him enough attention. So I'm gonna make him needy. Okay, Eliza pancakes time. I'm looking for a ginger horse. I feel like this might be the reddest horse I can see. A Gelderlander. I'm gonna go with this one. All right, Eliza has some short straight hair, but I'm gonna turn it into this ginger color. Yeah, that's pretty close, I would say. Her forelock, she kind of has it swept to the side. So I'll do that. Tail. I feel like, I feel like this would suit Eliza. I'm gonna go with this. Eliza does not have feathers. She doesn't give me feather energy. Medium coat. Let's go to what she's wearing first. Okay, Eliza would be wearing something green. I think maybe this green one with flowers is really pretty. And then maybe this like intricate kind of pink saddle. Cause I just feel like Eliza gives me like pink and green vibes. We'll go with like a pink bridal and a pink bow. Oh my gosh, which one should I choose for her little booties? Okay, I think maybe the pink is good. Maybe I'll do a green bridal then. I feel like I have too much pink in here. Gotta keep it like consistent, you know? All right, Eliza, let's go into paint mode. So I think one of Eliza's most like defining features is her glasses. So I'm definitely gonna have her wear some glasses. I think I'm gonna try to draw them on. So wish me luck. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? I think that looks like a horse wearing glasses to me. Oh, I forgot to do her like head stuff. Hold on a second. Okay, head shape. I'm just gonna go with like really skinny. <laughs> I'm gonna give her the curly ears. And I feel like she would have like a spotted muzzle or like a pink muzzle. Yeah, I think I'll go with the pink. And then Eliza has green eyes. So I'm gonna give her some green eyes here. Would Eliza be a unicorn? No, she's not special enough. All right, back to paint mode. Eliza's favorite color is green. So I need to make sure to paint something green on her. And I feel like she is like really kind of into like nature and stuff. I think I'm gonna give her a couple like green flowers. I feel like that kind of matches her vibes. But she's also from the pancake household. So I'm definitely going to give her a pancake with some butter on it just so it's like very clear where she's from. I love it. It's perfect. Can I not get a oh, hold on? I'm checking the main color again. Can I get something a little more orange. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. It was ruining my aversion for a second. So I'm also just going to give her some more green markings kind of down her neck here. Oh no, that doesn't look as good on that side. Okay, well, don't look at this side. This is her good side. Okay, don't be rude. I'm going to match like a couple of pink flowers in here. And I almost want to give her like giraffes spots on her legs here. Some like pink giraffe spots. Just because I feel like it's giving Eliza energy. It loves the color pink, but she's not like gaudy enough to have like leopard spots. I feel like giraffe spots are a little bit more toned down. We just need to show more of that energy, you know? Okay, this is how she looks with her full outfit on. Honestly, I think that this is really good. All right, Eliza pancakes as a horse. She would be aggressive, independent, and defiant. She's not gonna let anyone tell her what to do. Okay, this is a really low resolution pick picture, but up next we're gonna do Nancy land grab. I have plans for her. I feel like Nancy is gonna be very prissy, so I'm gonna make her a lip Zanner. Lip Hazaner. I don't know how to say any of these. I'm so sorry to all the horse girls out there. But this is gonna be the horse I use for Nancy Landgrab. Let's start with the face. She has a very long face. So I'm gonna go with this one. Ears don't really bother me. She's gonna have a pink muzzle. Her eyes are... Actually, I don't know. Are Nancy's eyes blue or green? I can't tell. So I think I'm just gonna go with blue for now. And Nancy would be a unicorn. Let's be real. She's rich enough to be a unicorn. So she would be a unicorn with a golden horn for money. All right. And her mane is going to be long and luxurious, but yellow because that's her hair color. I feel like that's pretty good. And her tail is going to be braided. And yeah, she's going to have these feathers, but they're going to be pink. She's already wearing a pink 
saddle blanket, which is perfect for me. A pink saddle and a pink bridle. She 100% will have the flower crown and the little flower on her tail. And then also I want to give her, <laughs> I don't know if this is like so out of place, but I really, really want to give her these leopard print stockings. I don't like that they're not like pink. I don't know. I just feel like she would have these. Maybe I can do these like pink camo stockings and then give her like leopard print on her body. I feel like that's a good trade off. She 100% would have this like it honestly i'm gonna be real with you guys it almost looks like an illness like she has a rash i wasn't really thinking this through <laughs> Or nor. <laughs> Nancy, uh, why do you have a rash? It's fine. Rashes happen. There's supposed to be leopard spots though, okay? I'm gonna do like pink flowers. I'm gonna give her pink lipstick. Come on. Kissy kissy. There we go. Okay, does she look diseased? Yes. Is this not going the way I thought it would in my head? Also, yes. But like, I think it's gonna be okay. I'm looking for the sparkles, but I don't see the sparkles anywhere. I'm wondering where they are. Oh, here they are. I found them. Oh, they kind of like fade in and out. Wait, that's actually so cool. So I guess it doesn't like matter what color they are then are they fading in and out because she's magical i don't know how these things work okay, let's do some stars on her bum please no i'm a star please is there like a money sign because she's like all about being rich i don't think there is so i'm gonna draw one this is really important to me yeah yeah that just about does it for me okay here is nancy landgrab as a horse Actually, sorry, before I give her her name, I'm gonna give her these orange stockings because they match her orange shirt that I think is really iconic. All right, Nancy land grab. Nancy is also aggressive, very smart. She's a girl boss. And I also feel like she's really brave because she literally lives a life of crime. So yeah, there you have it. I made four of the Sims 4 townies as horses. We have Bella Goth, who is an absolute icon. We love her. We have a Bob Pancakes. I'm sorry. This one, this one makes me laugh a lot. I, I love Bob. He's great. We have Eliza Pancakes, who looks like a teen in the 90s, I guess is the vibe I'm getting. And then we have Nancy Landgrab, who is going to beat you up. She looks nice, but she is literally a villain, okay? Again, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these, especially when I have access to all of my packs again. I had a lot of fun doing this, and yeah, I think I would have a lot of fun making like a Vlad horse. Can you imagine? I have a lot of early access horse ranch content coming out so make sure you subscribe for more but until next time i love you all a lot and i will see you in the next one take care everyone thank you for watching my youtube video i don't know what i'm singing this is my outro but thanks see you next time love you bye